Hey YouTube, as I said, I was going to film another video today, which is Thursday, and I already filmed one video, and that was a makeup related video, and today's video, like I said in the previous video from yesterday, is going to be the start of my contraception talk video, and today's video is going to be the start of the series, and I even brought my notes along. Yes, I took notes because um, I want to inform y'all about this because it's a serious subject matter that needs to be spoken about and I believe that not many teens or other adults and stuff are talking about it that often it's like known as closet talk as I would say where it's kept behind closed doors and so I just want to get the knowledge out there and today's today we're going to be talking about condoms and it's I'm going to be talking about both male and female condoms and I don't have what a female condom looks like to show you so I'm mostly going to pull a picture from Google and also in the description I'm going to post two separate videos and they're going to be informative videos of how to put on a male condom and a female condom and they're not going to be my videos. It's going to be someone else's and my original plan was to insert it into this video but that wouldn't be right so give credit where credit is due so I'm going to put the links in the description and I'm kind of falling off my toilet because I'm sitting on my toilet but um, anyways let's begin as I said I'm going to start with talking about the male condom and <clears throat> And the male condom is the most con commonly used form of contraception. Um, it's used to prevent uh, pregnancy and some forms of STDs. And, oh, I just had it in my mind. What else was I was going to say? Please bear with me because I probably will be seeing an and uh and what a lot. A lot. Um... And it is around, I would say, 98 to 99% effective. If used properly, it can be even 100% effective. And condoms are available anywhere. If you don't need a, you don't need a prescription to buy them. They can um, be bought at a drugstore. You don't need ID or any sort of type of thing like that. Because I know when I first bought condoms, I was... 17 and I thought I'd made an idea but you don't need an ID so if you're around 16 15 17 and planning on having sex please be safe and go out to the drugstore and buy condoms don't be embarrassed about it because at least people will know that you're staying safe um anyways or if you don't want to go out in public and go to the drugstore um, go to your go to your doctor clinic, um, Planned Parenthood, Planned Parenthood sort of thing, and ask a doctor if they have condoms that you can use, and they'll be more than likely to help you out and give you a few condoms and such. And don't worry about them telling your parents or anything like that because they won't tell your parents because of the um doctor patient confidentiality so they won't tell your parents and so just don't be afraid to ask um there are commonly two types of condoms there's latex and please bear with me because i don't know if i'm pronouncing this word right it's polyurethane and latex condom is the most commonly used form <clears throat> And <clears throat> and it's considered to be the most reliable, but both are pretty reliable when it comes to having sex. But it's considered to be the most reliable, um, and it's most likely going to be the one that's more advertised and found in a lot of drugstores because some may not carry polyurethane, which I don't know why, because... I know one of my local stores doesn't carry a polyurethane-based 
condoms. Um, but anyways, latex condoms, they can be used with lubricants. And <laughs> they can only be used with water-based lubricants like KY jelly and stuff like that. But it cannot be used with oil-based lubricants such as Vaseline, cold cream, and stuff like that because that is known to weaken the effectiveness of the condom and can cause breakage. And the polyurethane is more commonly used for <clears throat> men with um, latex allergies. And that's made out of a type of plastic. It's not plastic, but it's made out of a type of plastic. Um, it's thinner and it's been known to increase sensitivity and it's a tad bit more expensive than latex condoms. Less, less flexible and you can use both water-based and oil type lubricants with it such as Vaseline and KY Jelly. You can use it. Um, and there's also Going into the further types of condoms, there's also lubricated or non-lubricated. Um, lubricated condoms are just to like help the friction in there better when the penis enters the vagina and make things sort of pleasurable sometimes. And if the female has been known to have trouble getting wet, the lubricant can help to help the penis slide in there better. <clears throat> and the lubricant and spermicide, they, mo they both make it easier to put the condom on. No wait, they both, make, they both make it easier to get in there. Both comfortable, prevent breakage. Um, lubricants can be both water-based or silicone-based. And the spermicide, what it is is it can be in any form and I'm going to go into the various forms in a different video because I'm going to go into that type of method. But So right now I'm just going to say what the spermicide does. And all the spermicide does in a condom is it inactivates slash kills sperm and prevents pregnancy. <clears throat> but the most thing the one thing that you kind of have to worry about with spermicide-based condoms is that it can kind of make it easier to catch an HIV slash, HIV slash STDs. And previously, it was known not to, it was known to stop that, but because of some type, um, one of the formulas in it, it's been known to actually weaken the tissues in the in the vaginal wall to kind of make it easier to catch an STD. Um, condoms can come in various shapes, lengths, widths, and sizes and all that. Shapes and sizes, flavors. Um, for example, there's a ribbed condom, which just has like ribs. It's like ribbed. I don't know how to describe it, but um, that can make it more it can make it increase sensitivity, and make it a little bit more pleasurable. Some people say it, I wouldn't know, I haven't tried it. Um, and there's also different flavors to make oral sex more pleasurable, like there's banana flavored, um, strawberry, I, I don't know the flavors, but there's just flavors of condoms that can use to make um, oral sex more pleasurable if you'd prefer your man to wear a condom during oral sex. Um, let's see, I had something else that I was going to say. What else was I going to say? Oh yeah, and some of the flavored condoms, some of them you can't use for sexual intercourse because um, some of them can burn slash sting. So, not all of the flavored ones can be used for intercourse. And there are some condoms that cannot be used for oral sex, like the one I have, for example. It's the Trojan Pleasures Fire and Ice Warm and Tingling Condom, and it's dual action lubricant, so 
it contains this one contains spermicide but um anyways this one um this one and other condoms like it like the warm tingling sensation type ones those you cannot perform oral with it on because it might irritate your mouth because it's a warming and tingling and that might irritate your mouth and you don't know if you're allergic to it so it's better off not doing that and I know from first hand experience <laughs> that was too much information um now I'm going to read you the directions how to put on a condom and I'm going to insert a directional video annotation saying where to find the video the link to the video and one of the important things is never use a condom twice. That should be obvious. Why would you do that? <laughs> Anyways, um, you have to open it very, and I'm not going to demonstrate with this one because that would be kind of awkward. But um, what you do is you start off by tearing it carefully. And don't tear it roughly or anything. Don't be like, Arr. like with your teeth, like, Phew. because sometimes... You can unintentionally tear the condom, break it. And some of them, they even have like a, I don't know if you can see it, a tear here dotted line, which makes it easier. Like. <clears throat> oh, and be sure to check um, the condition of the condom. Like, make sure you haven't kept it in your wallet or anything like that for too long because if it's left in a wallet or, glo or glove compartment or somewhere too long, um, it can wear down and that can cause any breakages or tears in the condom. And so be sure to always check the condition. This one's in good condition, but I just kind of <laughs> had it on other type of stuff, so yeah. And be sure on the package, it should have an expiration date or on the condom itself, it should have an expiration date so be sure to check that expiration date and if you find that it's expired don't use it throw it out get a new one like this one's expiration date is August 2013 okay then the second step is obviously place over the tip of the condom and whilst doing so Pinch the tip of the condom. <laughs> this is weird because I'm not holding it in my hand. It would be better. And just pinch the tip of the condom. So pretend there's something there. And oh yeah, really quick as a, not a disclaimer. Um, just really quickly, I want to say if your man or whatever, if you're your man, isn't cut slash if he's not circumcised um be sure to pull the foreskin back gently <laughs> um okay now hold it down <clears throat> this and then you're gonna roll it down slowly <laughs> this is weird but and uh, roll it down slowly and then if you notice any air bubbles because sometimes it does happen that there's air bubbles in the condoms do not leave it there be sure to smooth it out because the air bubbles can make the condom prone to breakage slash leakage <laughs> and you're done with that and now be sure to have safe sex um okay now we're gonna go on to the female condom and i don't have a female condom with me because unfortunately at my drugstore they don't carry any and I don't know if Walmart has any so and I've never tried one of those so but I'm still going to give information about it and this is just information I researched excuse me and also I'm going to include a picture of it starting now okay and the female condom is just like a male condom, except the female condom is inserted into the vagina and it has flexible rings at each end. 
Um, and it can be used during anal sex too. Let's see. And the benefits of it is that it can be brought it, uh, it can be bought at a drugstore. Um, people with latex aller allergies, they can use it too. Um, it can reduce the it, risk of an STD and pregnancy, of course. And let's see. And it can be used with any lube, oil-based, water-based, both. You can use it. Uh, let's see. And the best part about it is if you're one of those women who worry about like having hormones in you, you don't have to worry about that because no hormones or anything like that. Um, the cons of it though is that it can cause irritation in both the vagina and the anus. Um, it can sometimes reduce feeling, but this has been known not to happen. But every once in a while it can reduce feeling. And sometimes it can even be noisy, but to stop the noisiness, you can use lube to decrease the noisiness. And how to use it. I'm going to give you the instructions on how to use it. Um, lube and spermicide goes on outside of closed end. And to insert it, find a comfortable position, whether it be standing up, laying down, squatting, one leg on top of the toilet, the other on the floor, kind of like how you would insert a tampon. Um, squeeze sides of inner ring at closed end. Insert like a tampon. Um, push inner ring as far as it can go. And that's usually until it reaches your cervix slash hits your cervix. Well, not hit it, but reaches it. And then after that, you would pull out your finger and let out a ring hang an itch, an <laughs> itch, an inch outside the vagina. And then you go on and have sex. <laughs> and I'm sorry if some parts were kind of awkward because it's kind of awkward for me talking to a camera about this. But I'm just going to go ahead and pretend like I'm talking to a friend because... I sometimes talk to some of my friends about this kind of stuff, so yeah. And if you have any questions, just go ahead and message me, put a comment, whatever. Um, and you can even ask me on Tumblr if you if you have any questions. It's um, aspiring playboy model at tumblr.com and if you have any questions about sex or anything, just go ahead and ask. And a disclaimer, I am not a doctor or professional. I am just a girl who's just giving advice to help help get the word about there about safe sex. Because safe sex is great sex. Is great sex. I like that one little song, Lil Wayne song says of the lollipop remix. Safe sex is great sex. And have a great day. Bye.